Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Lynx U2 GFCS that is gun fire control system is a fourth generation completely indigenous system and it's a naval gun fire control system designed to acquire track and engage targets amidst the sea clutter. It is capable of accurately tracking air or surface targets generating required target data for predicting weapon aiming points and engaging the target. The target engagement is carried out with medium or short range gun such as Russian AK-176, AK-190 and AK-630 as well as super rapid gun mounts available on the warship. The gunfire control system has been designed with an open and scalable architecture which allows it to be a simple and flexible implementation on different configuration. The system has been developed and delivered to Indian Navy and has been in service for over two decades and satisfactorily meeting the tactical requirements of naval warships of various classes such as destroyers, frigates, missile boats, corvettes, etc. The system has also been upgraded continuously and the indigenization has been the major focus along the technology upgrades. The system includes a tracking radar, servo and weapon control modules which has been completely designed and developed by BEL. The antenna system will ensure maximum uptime of the system and guarantees excellent product support throughout its lifetime. Now, talking about its orders, in December 2020, the Ministry of Defense has signed a contract with the BEL for procurement of 10 Lynx U2 fire control system for the frontline warships of Indian Navy at a cost of Rs 1,355 crore. The system was procured for installing on naval offshore patrol vessel, Talwar and T class of warships. Now, on 30th March 2023, MO signed another contract with BEL Bengaluru for procurement of 13 Lynx U2 fire control system for Indian Navy at a cost of over Rs 1700 crore under Buy Indian ITDM category. The system will be installed on new generation offshore petrol vessels which is to be built indigenously at Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers and Coa Shipyard Limited. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.